Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to New Hope Tarot. We're going to be doing the reading for January 24th today. I've already, already meditated upon the cards and have a pre-shuffled. I apologize, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and shuffle live as always. And before I get started, if this reading does resonate, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate it. I'd love to get this information out to other people who require the guidance. I think that my angels in the universe, what is it that you would like for me to share with you? Let's go for January 24th. Universe, please help me to get it. And King of Wands. Please. The Page of Swords and the Seven of Cups. All right, so my the Page of Swords to me is he's what I call the the bratty McBrat brat. He's he's like this pouty. If I don't get what I want, I'm gonna just make your life freaking miserable kind of a person. Um, that's, that's how I see the page of swords. He's just, he's moody. He's defiant. He's vengeful. He's just a pain in the rear is what this dude is. A uh, person. It could be a girl. Uh, it could be a female, I should say. But that's how I see this person. Um, the King of Wands to me is a bit on the pompous side, shall we say. That's how I see the King of Wands. Let's see if we're talking about two different people here or if we're talking about just you in general. All right, let's take a look. So for, let's just say for a moment that this is all about, this is just you, right? So the King of Wands is a very determined, very focused individual. So if you are very driven right now, and this page of, then this could be you, right? Um, this page of swords <clears throat> could be, pardon me, um, your inner voice ready to take on new challenges. Um, and you have zero fear to, to go for it, right? So that's, that's what I'm getting here. And then the seven of cups is truly just about um, the opportunities and the dreams that you may have. So if I'm reading this clearly, um, with just the one person in mind, if you are the uh, king of wands, take it as it resonates, male or female. It, it seems like you're determined in, in your uh, inner inner voice, inner inner self is just right there with you, right? So you, basically what this is saying is that you are aligned and you are very driven to go after your dream and go be successful. So I see that as a very good thing. Now, if these are two different people, then if you're determined and the page of swords is here, this could be somebody who's ready to challenge you, right? And if this person is ready to challenge you, they stand in the way of your dreams. So you have got to um, really step outside of the box to try to work around this page of swords, which I don't see any difficulties with that. I feel like you can just squish this, uh, page of swords with your own intellect and just walk on through. Okay. To go after what it is you are wanting, what it is you are dreaming of. All right. Um, also, in another scenario, this page of swords could be somebody who is incredibly jealous of you. And um, they might also be um, spreading rumors or uh, 
doing a little bit of chatter behind your back. And I don't feel like you're surprised by this, but this, this page of swords individual could, could really put a bit of a wrinkle in your, in your moving forward because he, he uh, this person is also very sneaky. So even though you might have like your internal n knowledge of it, like you, you feel that that is what they are doing, but you have zero way of proving it, um, then that's when you're going to come across uh, some sort of um, friction as to trying to prove what this person is doing and why this person is doing this. And that's how they can absolutely step in the way of your dreams or whatever it is you are trying to create. Did a card flip over? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Thank God my angels in the universe. What is it that you would like to tell the collective for January 24th? What is the final message you'd like to tell the collective? I'm, oh, okay. Ease. So with this in particular, what I'm seeing is that you have to be very smooth in how you approach this Page of Swords person. So that it causes as less friction as possible. I'm not stating that you have to give in to this person's whims or anything to that extent. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that um, sometimes keep keep your friends close, but your enemies closer is really the the nuts and bolts about that. Because this this person. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a clarification card here on this Page of Swords. Because even though this Page of Swords isn't looking towards you in the deck, which could definitely mean that, you know, it's somebody outside of you, it's looking straight forward. And, and I feel what this is, is that this Page of Swords person has got their eyes on the prize as well. And they could also be in competition for the same things that you want if it's within a company. All right. Yeah. The Page of Swords, I get the star, the sun. Yep. There it is. The King of Wands in reverse and the um, Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, this person is wanting the exact same thing you want within the, if this is within the same um, business, um, within the same company, they're wanting the same thing. However, they don't lack your folk, uh, what, they, what they lack is your focus and your drive um, because you are absolutely laser focused and you're very creative as well. And you're very well rounded. Um, sometimes a little too cocky for your own good, but still you're, you are cocky in, in the sense where you know what you're actually talking about. And this does bring a, a sense of confidence. And sometimes you can outstep that confidence and go a little bit obsessive or um, excessive in that confidence, which people can look at you as a bit uh, pompous and overbearing, right? Versus this page of swords individuals, they lack the um, your worldly view, your experience, everything that you have come across, yet they are still wanting and, and it's wonderful that they want this, but it's not okay that, that in the way that they are trying to achieve it, right? You have literally earned your, your title. 
right? The, the throne that you're sitting on, right? As the king of wands. You're, you, you're like, yes, I deserve this because I have worked for it and good for you. If you know you've earned it, then absolutely. With this page of swords, it, it, this person is in other people's ears. And I need you to please be mindful, um, my king of wands here, my beautiful souls, because if you allow this page of swords individual get in the ears of others, they very well could be successful in getting the position that you're wanting. Here with the uh, Ten of Cups. All right. So what I'm going to have to say, what I'm going to say about this is that for the majority of you, you're going to bypass the Page of Swords um, and that's, and this person could be younger, male or female. It really doesn't matter. Right? You could be male or female. It does not matter. This person could be younger than you or just has an immature sort of personality, um, which is evidently so with all the gossiping and all the nonsense that's going on. Um, all the, all the chatter is, that's the word that the guides are giving me chatter, all the chatter. Um, and if I'm looking at this card, um, I feel like this person has a, an inner guide, um, and he is protected. Maybe not so much an inner guide, maybe for some, but I feel like he is protected in a way that you are not. Um, and that can come in a lot of different ways. Um, either they are a sibling or a child of someone higher up that could give them the position over you because they are within the family or they are a friend or a family or somehow they got to a position where they got, they are protected because they are liked for whatever reason. Um, within this, within this, uh, business. So, and that's another reason why he, uh, they could potentially, um, be prosperous over you. Um, my dear souls. Ooh, my goodness. This page of swords, what a pain in the rear. This person is. But yeah, just be, just be uh, careful. All right, my dear. All right. That was your reading for January 24th. My heart feels heavy for you. Goes oh, this, this guy's a, this person, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. This person is a bit of a jerk. So if you're dealing with this sort of energy, believe me, you're going to know exactly who it is. And you're, you know exactly who I'm talking about. If you're within this energy. All right, my lovelies. This has been your reading for January 24th. Until we meet again. Bye.